let's get a brief look at a few of the system monitoring tools that are available on your system. In the left hand window here I'm running GNOME System Monitor which gives me a graphical picture of CPU history on top with one line for each CPU on the system. This is a system with four cores, each one of which is hyper-threaded, so it appears as eight CPUs. In the second line, we're seeing memory and swap history. So here's the memory usage in this, pie gra in this circular graph here and swap here. And then the third, we're looking at network history. We're seeing both sending and receiving. Okay, so in the, the window on the top right, I'm just going to run top, which gives basic process monitoring on my system. And in the bottom window, I'm going to run VMstat with a, a command of A to show everything. And then I'm going to run it every two seconds a thousand times, just so it doesn't stop. And then in the lower right here, I'm going to run a very CPU intensive task which is a kernel compile which proceeds in parallel on each CPU so it's very very CPU intensive so let me do that okay so that's running now and first of all you'll quickly see that the CPU usage is going to pin up at the top here so it takes a few seconds to cut in but then then it's it's going all the CPUs are busy at the top here and also I can see that in the top output, the system is using 80% of its CPU time roughly on user processes, that means compiling in the user space, and about 10% doing system activity, which is going to be handling system calls for the most part. If I hit the number one, I can get a readout for each CPU instead of just the sum totals, which we now see on the top, and you see they're all quite busy. And on the bottom here, we can see all the activity going on with the memory on the system. Okay, in particular, how many pages are active and inactive, swaps coming in and out, how much space is free, etc. So that's just a brief look at a few of the tools that are available on your system.